The formula of presidential foreign trips in luring foreign investments and a whole-of-government strategy to ease the process of business transactions has yielded handsomely for the government's economic recovery efforts. The numbers speak volumes, a 14% uptick in foreign direct investments and job opportunities expected to hit close to 14,000. Su Jin Kim has more details in this report. Victor, who's been working as a motor taxi rider for more than a year, says he prefers working the same job he was doing prior in the manufacturing sector. So when he found out more investors are establishing businesses here, he felt hopeful. Araw namin, bayad na agad. Sa factory kasi, hindi mainit at saka hindi kami nauulanan. Eh dito, init, ulan, andun, kasama. He says with the surge of businesses, more jobs will open up. Mas maganda po kung ganun para yung mga walang trabaho, eh magkaroon po. Mark, on the other hand, is extra elated finding out that the investments were mostly in the industries of power and renewable energy. Uh, malilesson po yung pollution and yung mga uh, resource po is free po siya. Like yung mga solar po, yung mga wind, mga turbines, mga ganun po. Free po siya. Unlike po pag mga coal or mga power plant, nakaka, nakaka, uh, dagdag pa po siya sa pollution. Mark maintains that the energy sector should especially receive priority treatment in terms of investments. Mas okay po talaga i- more on doon po yung mga investment po kasi po um, ang power electronics po kasi ang focus rin po niya sa mga non-renewable or renewable energy po. According to the Board of Investments or BOI, investment approvals in the country hit an all-time high amounting to 640 billion pesos. Total investment pledges posted from January to end of May are the highest on record in the last five decades. The numbers show a 14% increase in the span of a year, mostly coming from Filipino investors in renewable energy and power. Pakita natin ay may kinalaman dun sa energy and renewable power uh, sector. So ito makikita, makakakita rito tayo ng mga dekalidad na trabaho pang matagalan. So it is very important for us to be able to follow through and that is the directive of the president vis-a-vis -vis the commitments made huh, by uh, countries where the president has visited over the last year. Foreign and domestic investments amounting to 114.37 billion and 525.85 billion pesos respectively are expected to generate nearly 14,000 jobs. Topping the investment destinations is Calabarzon with more than 538 billion pesos in investment projects, followed by Ilocos, Central Luzon, Bicol and the Western Visayas regions. The consistent efforts made by President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. to secure foreign direct investments through his foreign trips, coupled by the success of the whole-of-government approach in implementing the ease of doing business, the Philippines continues to reap greater investor confidence, thus boosting the country's competitiveness, particularly in Southeast Asia. These new growth investment projects continue to aid in the moderation of inflation in the country. Sujin Kim from the National TV Network for the new and better Philippines.